Hi, this is Paul from paulbrumby.com. We'll go through um, pullbacks during the session today and how to measure them in respect of their behavior. So this is NQ. I've already shorted this today with a six star sell from our expert algo. Big move, good profits, uh, took, took the profits. Now it's pulling back. We need to measure that pullback. So when you look at the stochastic, you need to be on the highs the last time you overbought to the lows where you were oversold. And we need to retrace that. And that, so that I want to do that now. So with the Fib retracement tool, okay, I'm going to go from the high when we're overbought to the low when we're oversold. The three zones I'm really interested in right now are the 236 to the 382 to the 50 to the 618. Now, the sweet spot for this pullback during the day, you know, the main trend is down. We're pulling back against it. The sweet spot is the 382. Okay, so 382 retracement is really, really what you're looking for. If it can pull back and find resistance in this zone here, which is doing tentatively right now, and then I get another signal from my expert algo to go short, I've, got a, I've still got a long way down to this support and resistance zone down here. This is this support and resistance zone is taken from the 60 minute time frame. This is a three minute on NQ. So what I'm looking at is during the day we've had this move. Okay, pre-market we're at these highs and then we come through the open and then we've gone down. I've traded that, it's done. Now I'm looking potentially for another entry. If this finds resistance, I mean, 382 to the 50 is really the sort of sweet spot there, but right rear the 382 is, and it starts to come back down, and I get another signal, I'm looking for an entry. And I can be quite tight on that entry. We've got a double bottom here. So an entry around about 114, 11.50 maybe. But obviously I've got to get a signal for that. But what I've done by identifying that pullback, so we've gone from overbought, to oversold the lowest point on the oversold is that I've I've sort of measured that behavior for the day and now I'm just keeping an eye on that pullback and that if that pullback keeps to my rules I will be very interested in that short um, if there is a signal because it's had a what you would call a traditional pullback during the day um, on that on that 382 so very very simply I'll go through it again I'll just delete it When we've gone from oversold, uh, sorry, overbought to oversold, we need to do a fib retracement. So on the tool on the left here, we go from the high to the low, making sure that we're oversold on the low and we're overbought on the high. And then we need the 236, 382, 50, and 618. Now, it can pull all the way back to the 618. And, you know, <clears throat> if that's the case overnight and it finds resistance, at my major support and resistance zone here in yellow, then it could come down again and there would be different types of entry. But right now, as I'm making this video, I'm looking at the 382 to 50 to hold uh, and looking for a short signal on my algo uh, to see if I can add to that profit from today. So hopefully that's helped. Uh, again, it, this works with any instrument, futures, forex, whatever. If you've had a really nice move during the day and we're, we're pulling back against that main trend of the day, Put those fib retracements on from the overbought to the oversold. 236, 382, 50. Last chance saloon is a 618 rail. If it goes beyond that, it's pulled back too deep. Hopefully that helps, and I'll speak to you again really soon.